Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled, Question of the Day, the Halachot of Omitting, what are the Halachot of Omitting, Tain Talamata Levracha, Part 2. We learned that if one remembers right at the Bracha Shani before the Kappa Shofar, according to the Shari Tshuva and the Berhetev and Hayad and many other posts, he should actually put it in right then and there, like the Rav Yashita, that the bracha is still in the section, the the Tain Tamatach is still within the section of Baruch Hashanah, even though the bracha is completed. And uh, Mishabura says that you should wait to Shema Kaleinu, so you could fulfill the uh, request according to all Shitok, or some say that once you finish Baruch Hashanah, you can no longer put it in. That's Mishabura's conclusion. Uh, there's some interesting uh, details here. Uh, according to the, uh, the Piscatur brings down some posts and they say that it actually depends on each individual. Let's say a person knows himself, he's a bit absent minded, either in general or specifically when he's dominant, he's just not focused like he should be. And he's really not sure. He just have a rachash on him, he doesn't know. Is he going to definitely remember to say it in Shmakleinu or not? When he gets to the, that bracha a few moments later, he just doesn't know if he's going to remember or not. And he has a bad track record in this area. So. There's some folks who actually say, if that's the case, say it right then and there. You say, you say, Baruch Hashanim, say, V'tein Talmud Talavracha, and then continue. And that way you are, Yotze Kohen Tarav Yah, Shokhan Avraham, Paskin like the Rav Yah, and uh, that's it. You don't put it into Shmar Kaleinu, because you don't know if you're going to remember in Shmar Kaleinu. But the Tshuva Van Agod has another possibility. He writes, you should go ahead and say it both places, right of Baruch Hashanim, V'tein Talmud Talavracha, and again in Shmar Kaleinu. So if according to Rav Yah, you're putting it in after Baruch Lein, that's the right place. And according to the other Rishonim, the whole, that's a half sec. There's no room for it after Baruch Hashanim. You're just putting it in the middle. You shouldn't put it over there. Uh, you're not Yotze when it's there. So fine, you Yotze in Shmar Kaleinu. And you cover your basis either way. Uh, Piskei does mention that there's not a simple answer. You can't just be Machmi here. Why? Because according to Rav Yah, the appropriate place if you forgot in Baruch Aleinu, it's right at the Baruch Aleinu before the Kappa Shop, that's true. But many Rishonim, as the Mishabur stresses in Kufi Adalit, argue with the Rav Yon and say that there's no place for a request uh, after the Baruch is done. Yalav Yavu cannot be done after Mas Hashim Sion. Tain Talamata cannot be done after Baruch Aleinu. And Marad um, Geshem cannot be done after the Hayamaitim. It's within the Baruch, not after the Baruch. So according to those Shitos, you have to make up in Shmar Kaleinu, and it cannot be done in Baruch Aleinu. And if you did do it, it can't be done after Baruch Aleinu. And if you did it after Baruch Aleinu, it's, it's a half second. It has no place in the middle of Tefillah. So Shuvah Rakhon Goat's Chumr is not a simple one. Simple Pshat Halach it would seem to be that uh, since Mishibur is the post of Ador, that one should go ahead if they miss, missed the Tain Talmud Talavracha, and they finish Baruch Hashanah and didn't start Tekavah Shmoha yet, that they should continue davening and put it into Shema Kalina. Betein Talmud Talavracha, Kiyat HaShomeya, Tfiz Machayi Shabrach Amin, Baruch Hashem Shemei Tfilah. And of course, the best advice is to get it right the first time. Shalom.